Hey there. Today we're going to take two pictures of famous people and we're going to combine them together and make a Franken face. And to do that, we're going to need to use layers and masks and the transform tool. First, we need our two people we're going to work with. So let's open two faces. Our two faces today are going to be Dwayne The Rock Johnson and Mr. Danny DeVito. Now, before we even get started, let's talk about how you pick your pictures. When you're trying to mix two pictures, you wanna find two pictures that are as large as possible and where the faces are approximately the same direction that they're looking. So if you look at this picture of Danny DeVito, you'll see that he's got his head turned and you can tell because you can only see one ear, his left ear. And then if you look at the picture of Dwayne Johnson, you can see we really pretty much see the same thing. We see a tiny bit of his ear here, but that's partially just the shape of his head, but mostly turned the same direction. Uh, the rock's also at a different angle a little bit, but uh, it'll work for what we're doing. But when you're picking yours, look at the eyes, look at the ears, look at the nose, and see if they're in roughly the same place. That'll make it a lot easier for you. So we are going to take Mr. Johnson's face and put it on Mr. DeVito. So start with the face of Mr. Johnson and use your lasso tool. We're just gonna use the regular lasso. We don't have to do anything fancy. And when we do it, we are gonna take way more than we're gonna use. I'm gonna start way up on his forehead that I know I'm not gonna use. I'm gonna go out here into the background. I'm gonna go around his chin. I'm gonna go around like this. That is way, way more than we are possibly going to need. But it's easier if you have too much to hide part of it than it is to make stuff appear if you didn't get enough. So you better to start out with uh, way too much. So now we're going to copy this. I could press edit and copy, or I can use the keyboard shortcut, which is what I'm going to do, which is control C. And then I'm going to go to the picture of Mr. DeVito. And I'm going to press control V. When I do that, you'll see that there's a picture of Twain's face right there. You also, if you notice on the right side, the background layer still is just Danny DeVito and the layer above that is Dwayne's face. That's important because it means we can change this layer without messing up the bottom layer at all. Let's actually rename this. It's always a good idea to have your name uh, of your layers say what's actually on them in case you move them around. So I'm going to call this rock face. Now we want to transform these so they line up a little bit, but it's hard to do it without being able to see both faces at once. So we're going to make the rocks face a little more transparent. And the way you do that is with the opacity. If you look at this layer, you'll see the opacity appears set at hundred percent. That means it's solid. You can't see through it at all. It's like a wall. And uh, if we turn the opacity all the way down to nothing, it's invisible you don't see the layer at all. It's like air. So we want it somewhere in between. So I'm gonna put it up just so I can see both. And it doesn't matter exactly where you have it as long as you can see both uh, easily. So that's pretty good. That's almost 60%. Yours might be more, yours might be less when you're doing yours. Do it so you can see both. So we're gonna use the free transform tool. And there's a shortcut for it, which is Control, Alt, and the letter T. But if you forget that, you can go to edit and free transform is right here. Control, Alt, T. And the first thing we'll do is we'll just kind of roughly match it up uh, the best we can by stretching it from the uh, handles and rotating it if we need to. And you'll see it turns to the rotation icon if you get close to it, but you're not touching it. And if you touch it, it switches to the scale icon. And you can see even though I've lined up one eye and the mouth pretty well. Even if we turn this to try and get it matched up, it doesn't quite line up, it's close. So we're going to warp it a little bit. And to do that, just hold down control when you grab a control uh, corner point, a control point, and then you can drag it and adjust it. So I'm lining up his eyes and his nose right now. By the way, this is usually easier if you just do one part at a time. So if you're doing this and you're struggling, 
don't try and do the whole face at once. Do an eye, then do the other eye, then the nose, and then the mouth. You might decide it looks funnier if you only do part of it. So you might not want to do all of it anyway. All right. So now his eyes line up pretty well and his mouth lines up pretty well. His nose is still a little off. We can't fix that here, but we have another place where we can. So I just pressed return to tell it that uh, this is where I want to be or enter, whichever your uh, uh, keyboard has. I'm going to turn the opacity all the way up. And now you can see it kind of lines up. It almost lines up right here, but it doesn't quite match and the colors are wrong. We're going to see what we can do to fix those things. Uh, first, before we fix the rest of it, let's try and get the colors right. We're probably not going to be able to match it very well, but that's okay. It'll match close enough. I'm going to go up to Image, Adjustments, and I'm going to go to Hue and Saturation. You can see there's a shortcut for it as well. And I'm going to try and adjust it. Uh, saturation is how much color is in it. Turn it all the way down, it's black and white. Turn it all the way up, it's crazy color. Uh, lightness is how light or how dark the actual image is. So all the way from completely black to completely white. And then the hue actually rotates through the colors. So we're going to see if we can get it any better. I don't think it's going to be much different though. Because when you go too light, it starts to make the face get gray. All your blacks disappear. So for what we're doing right now, we don't need to match it that carefully. If we were uh, being uh, a little more precise here, we could go in and then play with the contrast afterward. But for what we're doing, this will totally work. So pretty close. I'm just going to say OK. And now we need to match his nose up with the glasses. If you look at his nose here and you watch when I go to the glasses, you can see it's actually cut off a little bit. His, the noses don't line up very well. So we're going to use the liquify tool. So I'm going to go to filter and I'm going to go to liquify. Now, right now the background is on so we can see it. Normally when you first start, it'll start with the background off and then we can't tell what we're doing. Um, I'm on the smudge tool right now, which is the tool we'll need. And you'll see when you click and drag, it smudges the picture. I'm going to undo that with Control Z. Remember when you're smudging, you want to get a pretty good sized brush, something that covers all of what you want to move. If it's too small, which you can change with the open and close brackets, we're trying to move the nose. It does little dents and divots and it doesn't work right. And if it's too big, and the whole face moves, and we don't want to do that. So let's turn the background back on. And the opacity here adjusts the how much we can see the face on top. So again, we want to make it so we can see both. So now I can see his nose on both of them. Let's brush a little smaller. Let's try and line it up. I want our nostrils to line up. So I'm just going to click and drag. And move it. You don't have to be exactly right. And if you do it too much, they won't look like the original person. You want to just be close. Then I want to make sure the eyes stayed in the right place. And the mouth looks pretty good. Maybe we'll move it up a little bit. Give him a little more uh, exciting face. Okay. Turn your opacity all up. Make sure you didn't warp it too much. See, it's a little distorted, but you can still tell who it is. All right, but it still doesn't look like it's one face. That's because we have to do one more thing. We have to hide the parts that we don't want to see. When you want to hide your face, you could use a mask. And that's exactly what we use here, the mask. Here's the layer for the rock face. And I'm going to click this, the mask icon, which is the circle inside the rectangle. And when I do, an all white mask appears right here. That mask, when you can see it, it's completely white. You could see everything that's on the page. If it's black, solid black, you can't see any of it. It's invisible. So we want to make it black on the parts we're going to completely hide and grayish where um, on the parts we want to blend. So we're going to get the paintbrush. 
And right now it's on white. We want to switch it to black. You can use this tool right here and switch it. And right now the hardness of the brush is set at 100% and the opacity of the brush is set at 100%. That means the edges of this brush are very solid and the brush is very dark or very light depending on which color we're using. So if I brush, it doesn't blend. It's a definite harsh line. So let me undo that with control Z and let's change our brush a little bit. First, let's change the opacity. I'm just going to put it around 50%. It doesn't really matter. Just, you don't want it to be hundred. Then I'm going to go to the hardness and I'm going to put it all the way down to zero. And now when I brush, it's fuzzy and it blends. I'm going to make my brush a little bit bigger because I've got a lot to get rid of, but I'm not going to start right on the part I want to get rid of. I'm going to start way off it and I'm going to brush toward it. And you'll notice, even though I'm not touching it, it's already starting to fade on those edges. So I'm going to do as much as I can this way. And I'm, I'm clicking and letting go. And every time I let go, it goes over it a little darker. So we'll try and get it as much as we can. Just going around, not in a hurry. And then that's most of it, but I have to be careful here because I want to get his, his glasses back. But if I do the glasses right now, can you see it made the rock's eye disappear? I need to get it back. So I'm going to go back to that layer, uh, the brush color, and I'm going to switch it back to white. I'm going to brush over it. So I can't do it with this size brush. I'm going to have to make my brush smaller. So I went back to black. Made my brush smaller. I'm going to brush over where I want it to hide. And I got too much, so I'm going to switch it to white. You can press the letter X also, and it'll switch the colors. See? X, 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 X. I want the rock side, even though we're missing the uh, shadow a little bit. It works. The brush right there around his nose. Here we can put that shadow underneath. It looks good. Right there. That's pretty good. Now let's do the big test. We're going to flip this layer on and off and see if we see anything weird we want to fix. So I'm just going to flick it on and off. And can you see when I do that, like around here, there's little edges of color that up here and in his hair over here. Nothing nothing we really need to fix, but if you wanted to be a stickler and be careful, you could go through and clean those up and clean his ear over here. And there you go. And there he is, Danny the Rock DeVito. Magic.